Hey folks, it's Mr. Soul from Brothers Grim Seeds with another tip for you folks uh, who are growing indoors and using reservoirs full of nutrient solution and a pump and a reservoir uh, to deliver the solution to your plants through some type of an irrigation, forced irrigation on a timer, uh, that type of thing. That's what we use here. And um, it occurred to me the other day that I, I should probably remind folks that when you're doing this uh, replenishing of a reservoir that's been depleted by the plants having been fed, um, remember that this reservoir started with a solution that was prepared uh, from scratch and filled and now that you've depleted some of that there's a temptation in some places where let's just add water to the reservoir and then try to adjust the uh, nutrient solution to where it's supposed to be and uh, you know it sounds okay to do that but a much better way uh, is this um, the water initially should start out plain because when you are adding your nutrients one of the uh, very important things about adding the nutrients is that they have to be added in a certain order, especially when it comes to the silica, which I recommend that everybody use in their water. Um, so the first step in preparing the fresh water is to add silica, make sure the pH is set uh, to a fairly neutral, like a seven, and then you're adding CalMag and your, whether it's a veg or a bloom uh, formula, and usually those products will have a pH adjustment in them that'll bring them closer to where they're supposed to be, which is mid six is like six, four, six, five, okay? Now, until you've experimented with your uh, nutrients, uh, then you'll, you'll know how to adjust the pH. But um, in this case, what we're gonna do is I'll show you how the silica is added and then the CalMag and how then when the bloom formula that we're gonna put in here is added, it will adjust the pH pretty automatically. Let's start with what we have coming out of the tap. This is the uh, setting we have. You'll see the uh, pH is around 7.8, which is not unusual for tap water. What I'm gonna do right now is I've got silica and I'm gonna add 150 milliliters. There's 100. 150, 150 milliliters of silica to our water and watch what happens to the pH now. It's going to go up a lot because this is a very alkaline substance. So watch that. I'll relight it up so it lights up good and then if we move the water around here it'll speed up the mixing process some and you'll get to see the pH change rapidly. So we're already in the nines. It's probably going to almost hit 10. Okay, with that much silica in it. Now, if I were adding my veg formula, I would right now add a pH down that would bring us back to about neutral, seven. But since I'm using a bloom formula, and the bloom formula that I'm using called Canna, it's a European product uh, from Holland, um, it has a pH ad adjustment that brings the pH down. So that'll happen automatically and I'd like you to pay attention to that. So we're right up there bumping on 10, 9.9. .9. I'm gonna add the CalMag, which will have very little effect on the pH. Here comes the CalMag. Again, 150 milliliters. Why 150? Well, that's a 30 gallon tank, and we want uh, 10 milliliter, or sorry, five milliliters per gallon, okay? 150. So putting that in and letting that go. When I touch the button, it lights it up, makes it easier to see. So, and it'll take a second to swirl around there and have any effect on the pH if there's any effect at all. And, yeah, it's lowering it a tad, hardly any. The, the CalMag really doesn't have that much of a pH uh, effect, a uh, change the effect. So, like I said, I'm going to use the bloom formula and I'm just shaking it in the reservoir right now that I, I keep it in and make sure that's well shaken. Shake and not stir, right? Like James Bond. Here we go. And I want about 400 milliliters of this. And then I'm bringing that over to the reservoir. Now watch on our pH. 
this bloom formula is specially formulated to bring the pH down to where it needs to be. Even if you're starting out way out of bounds like we were, we were close to 10. Now you watch and within a minute it will be in the sixes. There you go. So that's something to be aware of. Don't ever try to adjust your pH until you've seen how the components you're going to use will affect the pH. Otherwise you may be changing it uh, more than it needs to be or in the wrong direction. And so as you can see, that'll settle out. And also here at the concentration of how strong this nutrient solution is, is it's under a thousand PPM. It's in the 900s. That's on the, for me, it's a fairly aggressive formula for daily feeding, but um, generally we drift between 700 and 900. So if it's 900 today, tomorrow it might be 700. And uh, so if we stay in that band, we're averaging out to around 800 PPM and that's perfect. We've found our plants grow fantastic at that level. So I hope that helps some of you folks out there. Uh, remember, it's important to put the silica in plain water before you add anything else. And that's why you want to make your reservoir solution in a separate container before you start adding it to the tank that needs to be refilled. All the best.